definitely a great pleasure to extend a warm welcome on uh, behalf of the Department of Biotechnology conducting a webinar on post harvest strategy and its application in fruits and vegetables by Dr. Jitendra Panigrahi, sir. I am very happy to introduce uh, today's resource person, Dr. Panigrahi. He did his PhD from HNQ Patan. He has he is a qualified NET and GATE. He has a more than 16 years of a teaching experience and he has published more than a 20 peer reviewed papers in a well known international journal, well known reputed journal, and published eight book chapters in a national and international publisher. Since 2015, he took part as a resource person in the GSDPM, conducted a crash course. He has an expertise in the field of plant physiology, plant biotechnology, and food harvest technology, etc. And um, this webinar is very meaningful, thought provoking, and useful to all participants. So, now without further ado, I will turn the time over to you, sir. sir. Good morning, Panikai, sir. So, please. Very good morning to all of you. Thanks, Dr. Esharami, for uh, giving one of the opportunity to share my knowledge about the today's topic that is post harvest strategy and its application in fruits and vegetables. So, let me share the PPT. So today's topic has mentioned that is post harvest strategy. Actually this word if you first of all listen about post harvest then you must have uh, one word must come in your mind that it is related to the vegetables and fruits. Basically in case of plants mostly the fruit parts whether we can take directly as raw material, raw form, then we can categorize it as fruits. Otherwise, biologically, all the vegetables or the fruits which has been taken for the vegetable products, then we can categorize them as vegetables. Otherwise, all of them are fruits. Okay. Why I have shown these uh, many figures? This one, capsicum, then bottle guard, then chili then cucumber, then brinjal and tomato because I have worked upon this many vegetables, particular vegetables and tried to extend their shelf life. So there are two words, one is post harvest, another one is shelf life. So shelf life of each and every fruits after its eating. So let us discuss first of all this word what does it mean and how it will be carrying on or reaching to the retailers level or to us or to every individual. So whenever this word comes post harvest first of all in our mind it comes that whatever product will be produced after eating whatever we got, it will be just collection of such type of fruits. From this collection, the starting of post harvest part occurs. Okay. So after it, what we will do? We will go for the collection in a proper way. Okay. Collecting in large scale. I have shown this large scale. These pictures I have taken from the Google itself. Then packaging. If you are transporting from one place to another, the packaging is a must. Packaging must be done in a proper way. Followed by, in large scale, we have to transport them via the different transport system. And this transport system later on reach to the consumers. Okay. So whenever you will find out those fruits which are fresh enough, quality enough, then we are definitely attracted towards that. No doubt the price, price may be higher, but we are attracted towards those type of fruits and vegetables, fresh vegetables. Even the vendors will say that these are the fresh quality, it has been taken very nearby place, quality wise it is good, 
in some cases you must have seen that they are attached with certain stickers that means it is little bit more concerns about those sticker why because it may be preserved by something else or preserved by some coatings that's why its price of is also little bit high we ready to pay that but we require or the consumers require the fresh enough the perfect fruit perfect vegetables why because we don't want to go to the doctors we require those fruits as fresh enough so that it will be healthier one and our family life will be going on smoothly without any hindrance so prevention is better than cure in other way if we are trying to discuss about post harvest the quality products which you are taking or the farmers who are producing this one the major problem is its maintenance or we can say that if it is being deteriorated then that will be a hazardous thing so in this case this deterioration deterioration words is a major word or broad word why because once you are taking if we harvest any produce any produce means any fruits part okay or vegetable parts once it is being produced then whether it may be fruits or vegetables in some cases the leafy vegetables are also there so this produce once it is being taken out from the parent plant they will start spoiling they will start spoiling and this spoiling we will discuss in a better way what are the different factors associated with this spoiling and this spoiling this losses that occur from this time of harvesting of fresh fruit once we are collecting that from that day it will start going for the losses okay dheere 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 that will be loss will be going on and as a major one there are two types of losses one is quantitative loss another one is qualitative loss that we will cover up here i will try to show one graph over here this x axis provided you increase in the respiration rate this is increase in the respiration rate while this one is deterioration rate one thing we should keep it in mind that no doubt the fruit or the vegetables are taken from the parent plants but there are certain living cells found in that and those living cells continuously respire and once it is respire it will lose the water once it is losing the water and the degradation of the macronutrients into micro, micro form then what would happen the fruits get shrink okay initially it looks like better way but gradually once this respiration rate enhances what would happen there will be chances of this type of shrinkage and naturally no one will prefer this type of fruit otherwise they will prefer this type okay so this respiration rate once it is being increasing then this deterioration part will be enhanced this is simply you can say it is related to the respiration part we are not discussed at all about the other factors whenever we will discuss about other factors it will be a larger concept this is the simple phenomena if you are collecting the fruits or if you are taken from the market taken into your home you try to preserve it in freezing condition as well as in the outside part gradually it will trying to spoil okay so basically quantitative loss quantitative loss is actually we can say that it is related to the weight loss okay and this weight loss are mainly due to the moisture which are found in that fruit that is being decreasing and once this moisture loss occurs then definitely it will affect the dry matter and this dry matter is mainly due to the continuous respiration which are going on inside the fruits or vegetables and at times due to transpiration all of you know that transpiration is external evaporation of water 
from the external aerial parts of the plants in form of moisture it will bring release so broadly we can say that this is quantitative loss okay while due to this quantitative loss the other loss may be occur that will be considered as qualitative loss what might be the meaning of this qualitative whenever you try to visit any vendors or to collect certain vegetables or fruits first thing is the freshness okay this freshness deterioration if occurs then what would happen there will be lack of the consumer's attraction rather consumer appeal will be lost this is one secondly the nutritional loss also being involved in this qualitative loss part including what might be that it may be vitamins are gradually degrading minerals will be lacking minerals will be lowered down if minerals will be not there then definitely it is not being uh, attracted by the consumers as well as the macromolecules will be converted into the simpler forms such as sugars and amino acids and gradually we can say that whatever we have taken during this harvesting part that is being now being degraded and these losses which we are discussed in broad way that is the different factors we can categorize it into two things what are those the first one is the biological factors second one is environmental factors so these two factors may affect this post harvest losses okay let us discuss one first biological factors under the biological factors first one is respiration rate then ethylene production third one is compositional changes fourth one growth and development fifth one transpiration physiological breakdown as well as pathological breakdown surface area to volume and last one is membrane permeability i will touch that one by one secondly environmental factors includes temperature then relative humidity then atmospheric gas composition light other factors case if all these factors no doubt will be available the other factors which may influence this deterioration process the first one is packaging how you are packing that one some fruits require a soft material over that a hard coating so that it will not be directly affect that second one is storage in which way you store that let us say you are storing in a high humid condition that may also deteriorate in high temperature condition that may deteriorate so storage will be an important one and lastly how you transport let us say you try to collect fruits from africa to india naturally the transportation time that will affect the process so broadly i have highlighted four different biological factors respiration rate is the basic one respiration rate in all the condition whatever may be the coating may be okay if you try to avoid try to hinder the respiration rate in the case of the post harvested fruits or vegetable definitely its life span will enhance ethylene production case there are different plant growth regulators all of you know about that starting from oxygen cytokinin zeaxanthin acid then fcc acid and ethylene ethylene is one of the gaseous hormone or we can call call it as ripening hormone also and if it is being started in the case of fruits or vegetables then what would happen it will rapidly spread because it is one of the gaseous hormone you must have seen that nowadays whatever banana are available a little bit of ethylene is being put into that baggage and gradually what would happen all the banana gets ripened so ethylene production if it is being stopped in that case the fruits may be fresh enough okay compositional changes 
naturally whatever the composition of each and every fruits or vegetables are there if there will be any changes occurs in that composition gradually the degradation starts growth and development growth and development case what would happen whether you have collected the fruits very early or later that i will also discuss in some other points transpiration transpiration no doubt it influence in a lesser way but it is one of the aspect transpiration case the water will be released from that post harvested food okay physiological breakdown i will discuss that pathological breakdown wherever there is nutrients naturally it is being attracted by the microorganisms and once this microorganisms invade the fruits definitely it will deteriorate the fruits and vegetables or fresh produce okay surface area to volume more the surface area then there will be chances that more the spreading of the that is a respiration okay so it should be minimized one membrane permeability the fruits and vegetables they are coated with the membrane and if these membranes are freely allowing the entry of the external entity as well as the internal entity naturally it leads to the deterioration process okay so these biological parameters these biological parameters mostly that will inherently try to deteriorate the substrates for as environmental factors if it is let us say all these processes biological processes are intact it should not be any hampering occur to the uh, post harvested fruit then this these may be are the influencing one at which temperature you try to put them try to collect them in which condition you have to put them let us say refrigerated condition you cannot put everything in the refrigerated condition okay so for that reason the temperature is a must let us say some fruits require 4 degrees celsius some are you can place in the outer side no need of refrigeration it may uh, stay for the longer period so be careful about this temperature part relative humidity each and every living system depends upon this the more humid condition that also deteriorate less humid condition also deteriorate so there will be a stable requirement of relative humidity yahan uh, pe wherever you find out more of the atmospheric water content or moisture content at times it will create problem okay and maximum chance that this relative humidity if it is not maintained then maximum chance that fungus may develop if fungus will be develop that will create problem next one is atmospheric gas composition it is also partly related to this one the if you are putting those fruits or vegetable container in a room where some other gaseous composition may be there let us say carbon dioxide will be more or carbon monoxide or some other gases may be there that may spoil the process let us say if you try to preserve this in your uh, rack or cupboard where you are putting certain uh, the gas molecule naphthalene ball then what would happen that will also transfer to that and the fruits may deteriorate and take that smell so it is also a hazardous thing light no doubt light is one of the essential one some are uh, collected in a high light condition some are collected in low light condition so mostly it is not so much important but it may take part in deterioration process these things i have already discussed the packaging storage and transportation these things so transportation is a major one wherever it is being produced it has to be taken to the other part of the markets and in some places if its life span is more then you can collect it from kerala and taken in, into kashmir or vice versa or from the other countries we are imported those 
fruits and vegetables accordingly this transportation process also be one of the important factors which affect the post harvest losses so water content case this uh, it is depending upon the availability of water in a fruits let us say if you are taking watermelon watermelon case more than 90 percentage is water content of that fruit okay so due to that watermelon may be stay for longer period as compared to that you take let us say apple or anything else such type of fruits the water content will be less so in that condition if rate of respiration going on then what would happen there will be more chances that apple will shrink more as compared to the watermelon okay one of the example under this case let us take you certain succulent plants succulent plant case what would happen there will be chances that it respire very rapidly than the non succulent products let us take cables or apple or carrots or spinach so all these are looking very fresh enough okay and once it is being collected from the plant it starts deteriorating very rapidly and best one is spinach if you are trying to collect the spinach you have to use it within one or two days maximum if it is used in the same day it will be very good from second day onwards naturally few parts you have to throw away so these succulent products they are very rapidly deteriorate okay this is the stage of development and stage at which fruits to be harvested these two are correlated let us say you must have visited the market and you are taking the let us say chili if you are collecting those chili you must have marked that some chilies are few chilies are very uh, attractive in nature all the seeds are well developed the size of the fruit will be also the perfect one or you can say it attain a maturity stage then it is attracting to you may be attracted towards that and you can purchase it but within that you must have find out some young and up chili so it is not yet ready to provide you that harshness why you are taking that chili to get that harshness part okay if it is not like that then what would happen no doubt it is being taken but it is not fully prepared so one thing you have to collect that into that head maturity one second thing it should not be ripened enough okay it should not be ripened enough it must be young enough it must not be very young it should be a proper stage that is maturity stage you have to collect it and you can preserve it okay and it should not be involved this ripening process some fruits we are directly taking in ripened form let us say banana banana is if it is being taken directly ripened form in the plant itself then what would happen the deterioration process starts occurring for that reason farmers collect those banana in not so much young or not so much ripened okay that is being collected and it will be stay for few days okay next one is this to try to avoid this respiration and transpiration generally we prefer to go for any type of coating okay now it is in winter time we are using the overcoat to avoid from the the cooling behavior of the atmosphere likewise in case of avoiding this respiration and transpiration in the fruits we prefer to go for any type of coating let us say uh, general one is waxy layer is being utilized some powdery substance in some cases oily glands or oil is being utilized that will definitely inhibit the respiratory process you must have marked that certain fruits are already coated with wax those fruits may stay for the longer period as compared to the other one which do not possess this extra layer waxy layer natural one then that may deteriorate very rapidly 
okay so the basic principle of this post harvest is you have to remember that respiration rate must be slower respiration rate must be slower then the ultimately the plant growth and development process is retarded or slow down and the shelf life of this fruit gets enhanced okay this is the basic idea behind this post harvest study whenever you check the respiration rate definitely it will influence the shelf life period extension shelf life period extension will be there definitely whatever fruits or vegetables you have taken from the market that is being easily used so transpiration no doubt it is not directly involved in the quantitative loss but it may influence in some of the qualitative loss how by textural quality textural quality the texture texture means the crispness or the softness depending upon the fruit quality it will target that so if you are taking the let us say capsicum capsicum is mostly utilized in the uh, market mostly in the hotels what they were doing it will be little bit crisp enough they will not boil so much so that crispness must be available in the fruits or vegetable and it is being easily acceptable by the consumer okay and simultaneously the nutritional quality may be maintained in a proper way this loss will not occur so broadly these are the reasons of losses first one is improper way of taking house operation that is not knowing in a proper way which one will be preserved in which fashion okay farmers also they do not know what to do after the harvest in which way they can be preserved this is the major part if we are suggesting them for this that if they do not have the infrastructure how they can store this is a major one definitely then they could not be or they are not guided in a proper way so technical supports are not available to them you can say like that and the quality control is lacking the proper quality control after post harvest is lacking and the marketing is also not in a proper way okay so these many are the other features by means of which we can face this loss of fruits and vegetables okay so now i am entering into my publications how i am given certain idea or showing certain research aspect in the field of this post harvest technology when i started this work i have kept in mind that it should be plant oriented i am going through the physiological aspect of the plant mostly plants prefer which things at which time you must have seen that for vegetative growth gibberellic acid is one of the important one starting from the germination up to the lengthening of the plant growth it is one of the important one gibberellic acid so basing upon that feature i am thinking that if it is being applicable to this fruits and vegetables whether it will extend the shelf life one second it should not be a pathogenic one or it should not be a harmful chemical that will influence the plant itself you just try to extend the life but it should be keep it in mind that it should not be dangerous enough to take okay so basing upon this two i have taken gibberellic acid is one of the coating material and it is being applied in capsicum annum in capsicum annum says bhumi uh, giwala says niyati patel man says now also in america says in canada and he is one of my collaborator he right now one of the scientist at 
this uh, directorate of research vidhan chandra kishi vishwavidyalaya west bengal so we plan to extend the shelf life in green chili so i am giving you or highlighting the major part in this paper what are the backgrounds how i have studied this what are the major features we obtained what are the parameters we have studied here it has been mentioned about those parameters what are the parameters we have studied here you mark that one is titratable titratable acidity then ascorbic acid content ferrocyanic chelating content these are mostly you uh, required as anti oxidant reducing power then dppas activity then hydroxyl radical scavenging activity some of the whether the secondary metabolite influences they are or not total phenolic content and two of the enzymes polyphenol oxidase and pectate lyase which may be involved in this middle lamella deterioration for that reason i have studied this too okay and i have applied a very minimum amount 1 2 and 3 ppm okay 3 ppm of gibberellic acid these three concentration i have given or quoted to that uh, chili or a capsicum only for 30 second it is being dipped over there and stored at freezing condition okay and it has been marked that it has been stored for 45 days those which are not stored are uh, those which are not treated are considered as controlled fruits so few sets without having gibberellic acid few sets with 1 ppm others are 2 and the another one is 3 ppm so the basic background i have mentioned over here and this is mainly for the new researcher which they are in phd or certain dissertation work so whenever you write your papers you should write the background of that one followed a whatever maybe the work has already been carried on basing upon that which part is not touched accordingly you have to concentrate upon that and followed by the different parameters which is a part of this or involved in it so that your work will be influential one accordingly you can go so the basic background behind this paper is that preservation process is one of the important aspect which is universal requirement without any deterioration okay so no doubt nature has produced the fruits and vegetables they have certain life span very specific life span some may deteriorate within 2 days some may stay for 10 days likewise so we have to keep that in mind okay whatever is required we have to be concentrated upon that naturally we are taking the controlled fruits accordingly we can get that life span in our experiment okay and we have to select certain preservatives which preservatives will be better one in which way you just mark here they were not preferable to us due to their residual side effect so all the preservatives cannot taken into granted why because they have side effect okay so such type of coatings you have to choose that can delay the degradation process and extend the shelf life okay this is one of the important one that can be influential one and we have to be concentrated upon those type of coatings okay and this was one of the my experimental figure so i have taken this green chili you have to also describe about which specimen you are taking from where how many days it has been taken so you have to be cautious about that okay so background continue there are certain chemicals which are found in case of this uh, green chili okay two major components that pungent nature which is found in the capsicum are mostly this capsaicin as well as capsaicin this red color and pungency of chili are mainly due to these components okay and being a non climatic food what would happen 
this deterioration is very rapid so you can say that there are huge losses occur in this uh, plant product okay simultaneously already i discussed uh, during the respiration part that if it is high moisture content occur let us say about 60 to 85% are available in this chili part okay and if it is there then they are prone to fungal attack so whenever we discuss the high moisture content the fungal attack is one of the dangerous prospect if it is being attacked by the fungus definitely it will deteriorate more secondly it is not eatable no we cannot eat that okay so this is one of the another drawback of this one another thing degradation quality degradation of quality shriveling with loss of weight skin color will be deteriorated okay and if you try to preserve it below this temperature this is also provide chilling injury to the this uh, chili okay so for that reason it has to be cautious enough that you have to how you store this one okay so this complications of this chili make it a highly perishable vegetable okay for that reason we have to be cautious enough that which type of chemicals or reagents we supply or coatings that will not harm or basing upon these features we should be consider certain chemical compound okay so mostly certain researchers suggest that if you are applying organic or inorganic coatings in which way fine layers if you supply then what would happen it may be considered as one of the barrier for the outcoming moisture or the respiration part as well as passage of solutes of the fruit so we can go for this type of coatings organic or it may be inorganic and it has been also been discussed that dipping spraying or brushing of these coatings may apply may apply for the storage purpose okay and if it is this coating will be applied to those fruits then there will be probability that this small pores can be checked and respiration rate will be also be checked okay so for that reason we have to be cautious and now which type of coating you are going for that process okay so this coatings has the immense capacity to active ingredients such as anti browning agents colors essence proteins vitamins antimicrobial component if it is being stored then definitely the shelf life of product will be enhanced and minimize the chances of any of the microorganisms this contamination will be also being diminished or it will be lesser in that regard i have utilized ga3 ga3 as i told you this is generally a one of the successful agent that will deteriorate or longer the process of the ripening rather the more of the vegetative parts will be visualized in the plant so this is one of the aspect why i have chosen this second aspect is that reportedly change the breakdown of ascorbic acid okay as well as chlorophyll in the skin of the plant parts so that is another aspect secondly lessen the alpha amylase and peroxide activity throughout the storage this is another aspect okay and if you supply this ga3 at low temperature it will effectively reduces the soluble protein and sugar decreases the action of polyphenol acid and peroxide activity all these features that's why i have chosen this gibberellic acid as coating and it is being applied as i already mentioned the storage period will be about 45 days but here i have shown about 27 days why because after this 18 days this untreated one are totally spoiled okay if i will try to put the 
this perfect one up to 45 days you can say that this part will be remain back end okay so up to 27 days i have shown over here no doubt i have gone through the 45 days and Uh, the different parameters were studied i will show that table also here you mark this is one of the sensory analysis by looking at the different coding pattern which type of color it has been given and nowadays also the other processes are being operated by looking at this texture analysis there are certain instrument by putting that instrument it will show certain values according to that you can judge that whether the fruits are in the initial condition of texture and how many days it can stay longer okay texture analysis one of the instrument is also there so by looking at that you just mark that this 2 ppm value it is very influential one where it can be preservative or it can be considered for longer preservation if you apply this 2 ppm then this chili can be or chili may extend up to 45 days that is a post harvest life may be 45 days you just go through this table these are the different parameters i have given over here titrate table acidity then ascorbic acid content then total soluble sugar then ferrous ion chelating activity where the major one this 2 ppm showing the better quality and stay up to 45 days here you mark this control part it may stay up to 9 days uh, sorry 18 days that means after 18 days also it can be used not in a better way but it can whereas this 1 ppm can stay up to 27 days this 3 ppm may stay stay up to 36 days but this 2 ppm showing the better result or significant result result in all these aspect in all these aspect i have studied this okay this plus minus symbol that is standard deviation this also i want to mention here that whenever you go for any of the Uh, experimental part you have to be cautious that you have to take minimum of three replicates more than that will be better and later on you can collect the mean and standard deviation of that that will be statistically you can say it will be a significant one likewise this is the same group they have tried castor oil initially that one uh, i have applied gibberellic acid and i have found out that it may store up to 45 days but this castor oil coating it may extend the shelf life extension of 36 days okay 36 days it is being extended you may ask why you have chosen that gibberellic acid why you have chosen castor oil you all of you know that in gujarat generally divel we call it as divel it is being used as preservative in most of the uh, pulses as well as rice it is being utilized and it can be considered as edible also so it is not being any harm to the developing or the preserve fruits okay for that reason i utilize this one and undergo this study and i found out that it is one of the influential one that is it may extend up to 36 days another study let me show this is in case of bell pepper that is capsicum anum say it is niyati patel now she is working at associate as, as in a uh, industry one perhaps in claris she is working over there so she worked upon this one and here one point you just mark that again i am utilizing the plants phenomena plants physiological phenomena what is that i have utilized two of the polyamines you must remember that 
during the water stress condition this formin spermidin and putrescin another one is spermin this three togetherly produced more in the stress condition of